This video is going to be on strategies with powers and roots, as well as some perfect square strategies. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be the first to receive new content. This is the formula that we're going to be using in the strategy. So as you can see, there's both a root and a power. So here, A is going to be the index. It's going to root the randicand, which consists of B as the base to the power of C, which is the exponent. This is equal to B, which is the base in this part, to the power of C divided by A. That line, that white line, is a division symbol. Let's look at an example. So in this example, we're going to be looking at 7 root in parentheses 3 to the power of 7. Now, if you look at the formula, we can determine that a is 7 because it's the index, b is the base of the power, so that's 3, and c is the exponent of the power, which is 7. We can rearrange that to make b, which is 3, so we take b out of the square root to the power of c divided by a, 7 divided by 7. And then that turns out 7 divided by 7 is 1, so 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3. If you haven't seen my videos like on when I explained um, power and root, I explain like how these all work, so if you don't know why, how 3 to the power of 1 is 3, click here and watch my video and I'll explain. So 3 to the power of 1 is 3, and that's the answer here. It turns out to be a whole number, it's nice and simple, it's not complicated as it appears up there. So if we were to look at another, if we were to check um, this one, 7 root 3 to the power of 7, that equals to 7 root 2187. If you actually do 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 3, that would equal 2187. And if you did 7 root that number, you would actually get 3. So the math does work out if you use the calculator. So let's look at another, a couple of other examples. This one is 2 root, in parentheses, 3 to the power of 8. So for this one, it turns out to be a turns out to be 2, which is the index, and B is 3 and C is 8. And when we plug that into the formula, it's 3 to the power of 8 divided by 2, which simplifies to 3 to the power of 4, and 3 to the power of 4, which is 3 times itself 4 times, equals 81. So let's look at another example. 3 root, in parentheses, 5 to the power of 6. So this would be simplified out to be 5 to the power of 6 divided by 3, if you use the formula. 6 divided by 3 can be simplified to 2. So 5 to the power of 2 is 5 times 5, and that's 25. So that's the answer. Like I said, they're all turning out nice whole numbers. There's going to be no decimals. If you have decimals involved, you did something wrong. So it should turn out to be nice and whole numbers, especially if you're playing elementary, because you should not have any irrational numbers in your roots. So... Now we're going to expand this trick into a really good strategy. So let's look at this one. 6 root in parentheses 8 to the power of 2. If we did the traditional way of using the formula, this would be 8, this would turn out to be um, 8 to the power of just 2 over 6, and that's 8 to the power of 1 divided by 3. That's kind of complicated. So we're going to simplify this down. We can break 8 into 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2. That's 8. So if we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 2, 6 root that number, then we can use another formula to simplify this more. When you have a to the power of b, and then that expression is raised to the power of c, you can do a to the power of b times c. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 2 to the power of 3 times 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. So 2 to the power of 6. 6 root 2 to the power of 6. That's what we're left with now. So we simplify it using this other formula here. So now we have a simplified expression of 6 root in parentheses 2 to the power of 6. It's not going to be complicated. It's simple. All we need to do is follow the formula. So now a, which is the index, is 6. b, the base, b as in base, is 2. And then c, the exponent, is 6. So now we just plug that into the formula. So, 2 to the power of 6 divided by 6, c divided by a, equals to 2 to the power of 1, and 2 to the power of 1 is 2. So that's our answer. 
It looks really complicated, but it's just two. It's really that simple. So make sure to know your perfect squares. That's another concept here. Because a perfect square is a number, when put under a square root, it comes out to be two whole numbers. Like for example, let's just say 36. The square root of 36 equals to six, because six times six is 36, and the six is the same number. So memorize these. Sometimes in these tricks, you might have to do a square. So know the values both ways. So there's also strategy to the perfect square. So now we're building off of that past slide. So let's say you have square root of parentheses 25 times 36. This looks really complicated and it's really not that hard. I'm gonna show you how this works. So don't be scared, just listen. So we have a formula here. When you have two things under a square root that are being multiplied, you can split it up into square roots of the separate components. If we have square root of a times b, we can split that up into square root of a times the square root of b. So a is 25, b is 36 in this example. And so we're gonna split this up into square root of 25 times square root of 36. We're splitting them up into their separate components. Make sure to, to still include the square root. So the square root of 25, that's a perfect square. Make sure to know your perfect squares. That's equal to five, and then the square root of 36 is six. So five times six is 30. So here's another example. This one is square root of parentheses 49 times 64. Same concept, you split up the square roots, you take the perfect squares. So the square root of 49 is seven times square root of 64 is eight, and that's 56, and that's the answer there. So like I said, very easy concepts. Just know the formulas, know the ways to do it, and know your perfect squares. Thank you for this, listening to this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it in a shake to win. Stay tuned for the next video, they're coming out. And subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to receive new content that I post. And if you have a question, please leave a comment below and I will try to respond ASAP. Thank you.